Hello everyone, it's Nat here and today I would like to show you how to save presets for software instruments uh, in Logic Pro X so that you, if you create a really nice sound by experimenting with some of the software instruments, you can save that and recall that in a different project at a different time and use it again. So I'm going to select software instrument on this uh, brand new session here. And I'm going to pick something that I can edit the sound of. So let's just grab anything really. I can grab maybe a synthesizer. And let's just grab um, some kind of classic synth sound here. And uh, let's have a listen to Luminous Tines. I'm going to bring up my software, uh, my keyboard here. So Command K, my musical typing. Okay, so there's a, a nice preset sound. But the idea is that when you become a more advanced producer, um, or just as a general rule, it's really good to design your own sounds so that you have your own customized sounds that no one else has. So what we really want uh, to do is we can either access uh, the plugin on this track, the settings, um, by going to the smart controls here. And we can also access uh, some of the settings via the mixer. Uh, when you have the info pane open, it will give you the uh, channel that this is on, plus the master track just there all the time. I like to have that open. So I'm going to open the smart controls. I'm going to keep that library open as well. And then I'm going to start to edit this sound just by using these smart controls. So this is actually the alchemy uh, basic loadout synth. So it gives you this nice modular kind of, um, you can move between different sounds here. Let's have a listen to how we can affect the sound of this particular preset. Bring that reverb off. Okay, so now that I've gotten a tone that I like, I'm going to go to the controls and go even further uh, into the sound design here. So I want this to be more short and stabby. So I'm going to give it a shorter release. Fast attack. Take some more of that reverb off. Okay. Um, now let's see what some of these. Uh, there's a low frequency oscillator right here. I have no LFO on there. Oscillator here. I kind of like that sort of an 80s sounding synth there. Something like Stranger Things or something on the soundtrack. It's pretty cool. Okay. So now I like what I've done there. Um, I could even go in and uh, muck around with the EQ on that. But now that I have a sound that I like, all I want to do is really save this so I can bring it back in another session and use it whenever I want. I can start building up a library of my own presets. So what I'm going to do under the library, so you have to have the library open for this, which is this button here or if you hover over there, it will tell you the key shortcut, which is Y. So if I have, it won't work if I've got my musical typing open, my shortcuts won't work. So there we are. And then it's down on uh, the bottom pane right here. I want to click save. And then I usually put my name in the front, Nats Retro. I'll just give it a name, Row 80s Synth two 
Um, and then when I hit save, now that's that's been saved. And let's say it's a totally different day, a different week. And I'm like, you know, I really like, I really liked that, um, you know, sound that I made a few weeks ago. Um, sorry, I'm just going to close this, close, don't save, and then create a new session. So I'm just going to create a software instrument. I can now um, access that preset by going to the library and clicking on user patches. And then it should be there. Nat's Retro 80s Synth 2. And you'll see when I hit my musical typing, it should sound pretty much exactly the same. When I go and open the smart controls, you can see, yes, that's the same. These are the settings I chose. Uh, here's a little test that I actually want to try out. If I actually change the EQ on this, is it going to save it? That's a, a good uh, test that we can do right now. So I'm going to go and save this preset and overwrite it. Yes, replace. And now let's load that up on a new track. Here's a new track here. Let's have a look at whether it's ported over those EQ settings. Yes, it has, beautiful. Okay, so that's how you do it. And you can also save these presets in a, a predetermined folder if you like on your desktop or uh, on a USB stick, or you can back them up on a USB stick. By default, they will go to, um, on your Mac, they will go to the music under your user, the music, uh, audio music apps, patches, and instruments that will be sitting in there. So that's how you create your own custom patches and save them and recall them in Logic.